vanish to the farm again. We'll see, we'll see. Um, I've had quite a lot of games recently where the map has been picked by the survivors. This that is mandatory. Nice one. I'll take that. Makes that. Is that another pallet? Yes, it is. Of course, it is. Let's get rid of it immediately. Air or anything. Another pallet, probably. Yep, it's just gonna wait there. Spirit burst. Nobody else left on that. She's running towards the place where we destroyed the pallets, which is good. Doesn't seem to be running with a plan this one, so we'll entertain this chase. Uh, she's back at a pallet again. Needs to drop. Probably has dead hard, right? No, okay. Just immediately hope there's nobody there. Uh, that was dangerous. impactful of teleports but you know uh, I need to go and check this one not really sure how she didn't see this uh, totem or hear it we'll put regression on it for what a little regression does I reacted too slowly to that Again, can't hear anything. He knows where that is now. He's going to have dead hard because he's a David. Just wanted to get rid of that immediately. Uh, he's over there. Another pallet. Got stunned by that because that's map design. The back was against uh, the other hair bale. And now he's going to make it to Shaq, probably, because he's got dead hard. Boring, boring, boring as fuck. Right. He got dead hard. No. Now about ten of the fucking gems are ready to be done. because we need to be... Yeah, I was just going to give this a little peek just because... Two very obvious as fuck totem places, that's to be expected because we like to spoon feed survivors easy wins. Fucking coddle them all into uh, easy games. Did they heal down here? Yeah, they did. Yeah, okay. Probably going to go for the tunnel at this point. I think this guy wants me to chase him. I don't really care at this point. Although, to be fair, we have actually still got um, Devour up. It depends if they're on comms, because if they are on comms, he's just going to tell them where that other totem is. And he now knows where that is. So no mind game there. Stuck on the wall. It's part of the reason I hate this game so much because it makes people who are literally not really doing anything make, make it, you know, makes them look good. 
And there you go, see? You can just do that because why not, right? That was a literal mistake from him. I'm going to stick Pentamental on that immediately because I think this is lost. I'm losing the will to live, quite honestly. around the other side, didn't he? Did he go around this one? Yeah, he did. Was expecting the sprint burst there. There's no pallet. Keep misjudging my uh, swing distance. Should have gone over to the totem actually. Uh, that's the other pentamant, no, that's fine. <laughs> you love to see it. Where's he just gone? One of them had a flashlight. Better try and make this up to five if I can before he tells his mates on comms where my totem is. Balanced and fair gameplay, right? That's gonna be 99, doesn't it? I'm going to go straight for the hooks. I was going to go for the slugs and that, but... Okay, probably part of the swift. Uh. There was a massive delay on that then. I should use this, this little situation actually to explain a hilarious design feature of D uh, Dredge. I am undetectable at the moment, but if you play from the survival perspective, I am loud as fuck and it is directional. So call that undetectable if you want. It's a similar reason for our demos and um, portal emergence uh, add ons are absolutely fucking useless because these footsteps are really loud and undetectable doesn't mask him so it's literally fucking useless there you go I don't know why it's taking him so long to do these last gens honestly because the game is so fucking stacked in your favour it's unreal there's not really much of a, an excuse for this. There's no mind game for that. Managed to get that. Who is this way? Game design for the win.
There you go, Zero Fear, because he gets invincibility. Basically what we've done now is we've given up because we've reached the last gen and the game's become somewhat, you know, challenging. So we've just basically said, ah, oh, fuck it, we don't want to play this because we have to fucking think about our decisions. There you go. Da, 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 da. He did scream, which means he is on a generator somewhere. That one. Not that one. That's a really cool design feature as well. I wanted to show as well, just to mention that if there's two lockers next to each other like that, see how I teleported to that one before? It will automatically teleport you to the locked one. Again, fucking why? And you know, there's probably people out there that think I'm being stupid when I say the devs hate killers but <laughs> that exists. It's a very real thing. It consistently happens. It will always teleport you to the locked one. Are you here waiting? No, there you are. So this is probably going to be a 4k, uh, well it will be, as long as I don't lose him. Not through that way, yep, let's go through the window. I literally have no anti-loop so it's going to be a slow one this, he might even survive till the end. He fucked that up. So that's going to be a 4k. Um, didn't get to use the barrel, but you know. <laughs> that's the fun for me if you're new to my videos. There you go. We got up to four tokens, which was quite close, but yeah, it's not five, so. Didn't get any mores, unfortunately. It's a merciless, it's a 4k, can't complain, I suppose. Just not the game I'm playing, because <laughs> I want to get the uh, the devourer off with the Mooris. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed, even though it was a bit of a... bit of a tense one, um, but yeah. See you on the next one. Bye.